would be in, uh, in directions and how to do things, measurements, right? And uh, you would see that there is a history in it that you can trace back all the way from the 1800s and it is documented in English because you are on a chair today. These were the oldest, earliest uh, schematics and drawings in terms of if you had to do, whether you be in uh, places like Canada, America, right? Um, the language and the symbols that govern and uh, the way how things is supposed to be done, I mean, it is in English and it would be for the uh, people who understand because at the start, you see these books, they mark contents, all right? And then you come down, just like how I am on an English speaking medium uh, today, uh, explaining to people who understand the ideology of woodwork and wood tools. Tools would be an English word because you went to school and you learn English. And I have to stress on that in a time like this because it is a language that keeps the ideology of woodwork to a higher level in terms of the ideologies of uh, schooling. When we speak about classes, committees, uh, universities, uh, it, this is documented in a book like this. In other words, the grand master, the owners of this book would be about 150 years in terms of time and date and age and all these kinds of things. But the uh, information that comes out of the book is over four or five hundred years. It's the first current scanned and printed books because this is not in handwriting. The first illustration, go back to the first illustration of uh, pictures and this is uh, these things um have to get me my glasses you know as i get older the writings stay one way but <laughs> i get older but you know this is talk about all civilizations and somebody took time and i don't think you had much law and all these things even in the ideology of uh i'm going to show you the schematics at that point in that this would have been the world university how you would bark a tree, you know, for doing different things, cut, 